I started to realize early on, I mean, when I was working with Doug Mensch on, um, uh, on Moon Knight, um, you know, I was getting a script and I was drawing the, pa the, the images and following the script. And I realized that I wanted to have more of a say in how the story was being told. I didn't want to just be a set of hands. And that's what it sort of felt like I was becoming, this, through no fault of Doug. I mean, you know, um, I just wanted more creative control. I wanted to write, because when I was growing up, I'd written all of my own comics. So, um, uh, so a lot of the sort of having a character look like a character supposed to look, I'd sort of blown through that, getting it lo to look right in my teens. It was like, okay, now I wanna, you know, push, you know, find something that makes it interesting for me to do it now. Um, so I started to chafe at the, at the, um, you know, the idea of doing, you know, much more straightforward stuff because it just held no interest for me. And I wanted to really sort of see what was possible with, with different media and with different um, uh, outside influences, you know, cult, like collage and, and uh, you know, photography and, and um, painting. Because that's when I said I, I, I started doing painted covers for, for the, the Dazzler and from Verrom and a couple other books. But it was like, I, I, I said, I've got I've to gotta paint. I, I literally have to start doing this stuff now. And luckily Marvel and the editors that were there wanted me to start trying these painted covers. No, there, no, there were so many things that, that were, you know, frowned upon, not even frowned upon, just that weren't done. And, uh, and here was this, you know, this, this kid coming in from, from farm country in Jersey, you know, who's like, I was like, I'm just going to, I want to do this. Can I do this? It's like, and, and the editors luckily were, were really supportive. They were just there with me to, to sort of, you know, let's see. And it, it was, um, it was a, like, an explosive creative time because I got to, you know, it was at the time I was, you know, hanging with Frank Miller and Dennis Cowan and, you know, and, um, you know, in the early 80s, it's like comics are starting to really push into a whole different kind of um, um, age. <laughs>